please do not jump on every offer just in the bid to study abroad please do not be desperate okay hmm? it, mm -mm, mm -mm. do not accept every offer they throw at you okay have some self-dignity huh make you knock on they do i for no i for no i for no life is already stressful so do not make it more stressful okay in fact if you have a second class student in nigeria you will be first class yeah sharp sharp okay hello my billionaire family how you guys doing what's popping oh shit <laughs> i'm trying to get an intro for this channel so um ignore what i'm doing but i wa i don't want to come here like i watched a video of a youtuber that was shading us like we youtubers she, she was like you guys just come here and say hello guys welcome back to my channel like that's you know it's like did we read it in any handbook so i'm trying to spice things up so i want to you know maybe we should call ourselves bologna family i don't know what you guys think in the comment section please let me know so that whenever i come here i'll come and say hello my bologna family how you guys doing what's popping you know that kind of stuff <laughs> somebody get us an intro in the comment section okay please 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 um if you like it let me know if you have any um unique name in your head that you want us to be called i mean we're family now so let me know let's get right into the video let's get right into why you click this video so um if you don't know me uh let's briefly introduce me <laughs> my name is aladi Ako, and i make educational videos most times i come here and i tell you guys the good things you know all the steps about coming abroad and all that well there are some realities unfortunately harsh realities and um, this is not to discourage anybody you get me many accents are going to be popping in this video disclaimer okay like i said it's not to discourage anybody from coming abroad these are things i want you to be aware of things i i want when it happens you know go shock you disclaimer there's going to be pidgin language in this video and i don't know if i'm going to be translating so get you a nigerian friend that will help you to translate the first thing i'm going to start with is your f1 visa when you have this visa there are so many rules and regulations the first one for me is that if you are failing let's take for instance you register for like three courses and this three courses is like let's say each of the course is a three credit class and that's nine credits um, in total and for a graduate student that's the minimum you need to maintain your f1 visa status and for the undergrad i think it's about 12 um, credits so you know you don't want to overload yourself so most likely you're going to be taking the minimum which is nine for um, grad students and 12 for undergrad so when you're on this nine and 12 thing and then you start these classes and the class is not going as planned it, it, it start hitting you especially for your first semester it start hitting you left and right like you are struggling a lot and you feel like oh my gosh you see your classmates or your classmates probably dropping one or two classes because this is the reality people drop classes if they see that oh this is going to spoil my gpa this is going to you know i'm struggling too much let me focus on this one you as an international student i'm sorry to disappoint you you can't drop that class because if you dare try to drop it you are going to fall below the minimum and you are going to be out of status so be careful when you are choosing classes try to talk to seniors in those schools that you plan to go let them know which class is advisable to take in the in your first semester because first semester is when a lot of students struggle quote me anywhere students struggle in their first semesters international students because they are not used to the system they are not just used to it so it takes a while to grasp <laughs> oh you both i don't know to understand so make you get why you get why so try to know which class to take first semester and which class not so that you don't be in the process um you don't be in the situation where you have to drop the class or lose your status you know you don't want to be in that situation shout out to erika emefa i probably murdered your name but i am sorry thank you sis i see you i see your support thank you so much two graduate students this one is particularly for you beware of horrible advisors yeah there are good and bad people in this world don't tell me because you are in america you won't encounter bad people or good people or see it's as simple as that beware of horrible advices because personally i don't have a horrible advisor which i'm really thankful for and if you want me to make a video on how i chose my advisor and all that let me know in the comment section and i can make a video talking about how i decided to 
chose i chose with sense so that you not go and choose somebody that will frustrate you graduate school is already frustrating and you don't want a a, um, an advisor that will keep pressuring you i know some of this like stories that i've heard left and right from friends and you know and whatnot from different schools and all different experiences some of them are like this grad is not from one person not two not three like people are saying that some of the advisors kind of like frustrate them the expectations they have of them is so high they expect them to know this know that that's okay but shoving it in their faces all the time doesn't make sense telling them you know i'm paying you and all that you have to do the work we know you are paying us be patient like we're not used to this system there are some of these things we learn them theoretically we don't even know like the practical aspects <laughs> be careful of horrible advices to avoid horror stories okay so make sure you know if you want that video please let me know in the comment section three racism location these two things come hand in hand c investigate the level of racism in that particular place you are going to investigate it nami toka investigate eh? so that you don't go and sign up for what you did not sign up for as a person of color as an international student most likely i don't know maybe if you're from the europe or i don't know but most likely if you're from africa your color is different so try to find a community you get why you make depression no come find you hard boy hard gear please <laughs> check very well check that school make sure there is a community for people of your color make sure that it's not somewhere you go. you are coming to a new country there's a lot of things going on so make sure there is a community for you okay i i can't over emphasize this one because it, as you're saying oh <laughs> i want to experience the life you need the support system as well you need people like you that understand you they understand you yeah you get me number four as an international student getting a job is not as easy as the other students who are local like the local students so visa wahala google the kind of companies that come to the career fairs in your university okay does that make any sense see check is about quality now not quantity i know the competition is going to be high and all that but try to get a feel of the kind ask questions ask the school which kind of company they come on a career fair call hire students ask them because you don't want see see just do your research and eh? that's all i can say this is just like a a recap <laughs> do your research know the kind of companies that come there because better companies that come to the um school then you have the there's a there's a likelihood there's more chance <laughs> the probability is higher to get a job a, not just a job a good job a job that will sponsor you in case you want to stay back see that should be part of the reasons you are going to a school to check there it might not be like the most important reason or all that but try to balance everything okay so that you don't have like companies that are just coming are just companies that are probably only hire local students they don't do stuff with international students and that's not what you want number five go to big cities if you can i feel like big cities more opportunities it's gonna be competitive don't get me wrong but <laughs> see who is talking <laughs> I feel like like people that are in bigger cities have better opportunities they have more things at their doorstep like there are advantages of staying in a smaller city but I'm look I feel like I should find a youtuber that is in a big city so that we can make a video and compare this thing but I feel like most of my friends that I've talked to that are in bigger cities they, they life seems to be a little better uh, uh, uh. so yeah because transportation stuff like that is easier for them here where i'm staying see transportation if you don't have car if you don't have car god bless your soul because i don't i don't know how you're going to survive you're caught in between finding an apartment that is close to the school or an apartment or living in, inside the school on campus so you there's a lot of constraint but if you are able to afford the car trust me your first semester except you'll be as a book picking where you get plenty money it's hard to get a car in your first semester it, it's a bit hard except you're going to maybe borrow money or like take a credit card or something you don't want to be paying for uber and all that like i've seen people that they have like tickets as a student i feel like there's even um uh, reduction in the money they have to pay for to pay for the transportation as opposed to like a regular person so try to check i i don't know but 
I feel like big, big, big cities are better because opportunities, that's where you see, especially for a tech person, if you go to all these, um, if you're squeezing probably in California, all these Bay Area, all those you know all those sweet sweet places you get more opportunities but please do not take my word for it especially this go to big cities okay it's my come to but staying in a small city has a lot of disadvantages and it also has a lot of advantages so if you want me to make that video as well let me know i can call people so that we can drag the case okay but i feel like just go to big place make you enjoy life okay number six is make sure the school is accredited and it is sevp certified because scam they are brought to scam is not only in your country scam is everywhere make you no go waste application fee money okay do your research because some of these schools they are not authorized to um, issue the i-20 so you can you will not go and spend your money applying and at the end of the day you can't get and 920 you can't they can't you, you you cannot can okay so make sure you do your research okay a scam is home and abroad okay prepare for plenty plenty homeworks okay you know call young kids to come take instagram pictures you did not come to their abroad to take instagram pictures okay so prepare for homeworks weekly homeworks do not be caught on our way so because you're going to do homework and do like this every, every week no breathing space you're going to have a weekly homework and the way it works like every professor feels oh i don't know they probably think you're taking only their class so the time investment is massive anyway that's why you're here so get ready do not think it's the way it is in nigeria or your country i don't know which country you're coming from but i'm using nigeria because we don't get the kind of homework we get in nigeria it's not the same type of homework we get here you get me okay so there's going to be tons of homework you are going to be busy at a point it might look like you don't have a life but take control of your life okay if you know what i mean just so you know some companies do not hire international students period they do not either they don't want to go through the process of getting you a h1b or it's too expensive and their company cannot afford it no hard feelings so do your research before you apply do not just as you're throwing in applications here and there just beware consider the schools that are going to um, schools okay. consider the companies that actually have in the past filed for students that's if you want to get the h1b work visa make sure you do your research to know it is just the truth okay or yeah it's just what it is okay you are not allowed like i've said this a lot of times you cannot walk off campus hmm? you cannot walk off campus but why do you even want to walk off campus sis you even showed bank statements to prove that you have money <laughs> that you can fund yourself so why do you need a job why do you, why do you want to walk off campus eh? why because you said you have the money sis so it's it's really real People, I know some people will probably be working off campus, but that's not what you want to do. You don't want to get into immigration, wahala, because these things, please, you don't want to go home. You don't want to go back to your village deported without a degree, okay? So there are some risks that you should not be thinking of doing, taking. You should not be thinking of taking those risks. So sis, that's the reality. You cannot work off campus. Others will telling you you can work in McDonald's, you can work in this one, you can work. Please, is it legal, eh? Don't do not answer your papa name or nobody join people they do waiting then they do say oh after all this person is doing you go do your own they go catch you so be careful okay just be very careful final one is search yourself sis brother search yourself hmm? ask yourself am i ready for all these things am i ready it's a, it's a very nice experience if you ask me it's just that some of these things will hit you unexpectedly because people have already told you that studying abroad is very easy you don't need to study you don't need to if you decide if you're a second class student in nigeria you will be first class here sharp sharp okay then you now program yourself oh they say it's easy okay that is why some people fail actually um because they've already set their mind that oh it's not going to be difficult it's not going to be difficult at all like i don't need to do too much but actually um you have to do a lot to maintain your good grades or to maintain good grades oh she but culture shock is real i keep telling people this thing is real you go things say you know they're real but that time you are converting money in your head is part of it okay so anyway at the end of the day bonus point shop life enjoy yourself take instagram pictures okay flex eh life trouble no they finish probably no they finish you enjoy your life take control so guys um if you enjoyed watching today's oh not so guys so my bologna family if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up click on the like button yeah thumbs up 
thumbs up now the same thing as like button <laughs> subscribe to my channel share this video okay and if you can relate with any of the things i have mentioned let me know in the comment section and if there's anything i forgot or anything i said that is not right let me know in the comment section as always i am open to your corrections and suggestions okay um see you in my next video and please let's continue the discussion let's continue the discussion do you like the bologna family or what name would you prefer i call you guys okay <gasps> signing up peace